Hey guys, on this episode of Nev's Garage, we're going to be changing an auxiliary water pump on this chromogen solar hot water service. Now I've already pulled this pump apart, try to fix it. Uh, unfortunately I can't. I think the magnetic drive's fallen off the shaft inside, unfortunately. So I've had to replace the unit. Got the new pump here. It's a shame because they're a very expensive pump. About 300 bucks. What are you going to do? Sometimes you just get effed in the A. So we're going to be fitting this new replacement pump. Setting up the system so it works again, ready for summer. So we're going to take advantage of those sweet sun rays, yeah? Now let's get into it. Alright, so let's whip that old pump off. Obviously, got to disconnect it first. Turn off the water supply to the solar system. So here's the old unit. Now let's compare it to the new unit. It's a new unit. So let's take this little foam cap off, whatever that's for. Now we've got our water direction going that way. Okay. <coughs> okay, cool. So we obviously need to just swap these fittings from the old unit onto the new unit. Alright, cool. There's the other fitting. Right, I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. Cool. Get rid of the old pump now. <coughs> now screw our new fittings in. Obviously need some thread tape. Alrighty, so I'll tighten them up now. Like that. Okay, cool. So let's go and stick the pump in the pipes now. Alright, let's throw our new pump in. Put a bit of grease on these brass threads so you can tighten them up properly. Right, now we put our retainers back on.
Alrighty. So that's the pump fitted back into the system. Now you'll notice that when the pump is pumping the right way from the tank up to the roof, the actual body of the pump's upside down. Electrical connectors at the top exposed to the water, the writing's upside down, the drain hole in the unit is at the top. If we leave it like that, we're going to have a bad time. So we need to turn the motor part of the pump around. So we're going to do that now. So that's really simple. You just need to undo this big brass retainer and the pump body will spin around. Like that, cool. Alright, so what we can do now is introduce water back into the system. I'll just turn the water back on. Now, so there's no air locks up in the in the closed circuit system and the pump's not going to be running dry. I'm just going to loosen the inlet here to the tank, which is where the water pumps back to. Just so we can let all the air out. for a minute or so. Alright, so let's tighten this back up now. That should have all the air bled out of the system. Just get everything a bit of a wipe. Alright, so we can plug the wiring loom in now. Now I'll put a bit of dielectric grease on the terminals of the connector because the pump is obviously you know, in the elements. I don't want the terminals to corrode or anything. I'll plug it into our chromogen box. Alright, now we can just turn the, the chromogen box on here. But before I do, I'm just going to put into view the light window so we can see what's happening. Alright, let's uh, flick it on and see what happens. We're watching here for lights and we can also watch the operation light on the pump. We've got the initial red power light and a green pulse for the pump and we also saw the operation light just wink on. Okay, so now we'll just leave it turned on now when the heater warms up in the glass box on the roof our pump should start running. Let's leave it and find out if it does. Alright, so you can see the green light on and the controller on there. That means that the water is hot enough on the roof for it to circulate and the pump's running. Nice and quiet, nice and smooth. You'll see also I tidied up all the wiring and insulated it better than it was before. Now if the system's working now, this inlet pipe here, or the return line from the roof back into the tank, should get warm. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very hot. So the system's working great. The pump's running now. As it fills the glass box on the roof with new water, it'll turn the system off again and it'll just sit up there to heat up again. Cool guys, so I guess we're done. So that's how you fit a new auxiliary water pump to your solar hot water system. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you also for liking, sharing and subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Nev's Garage.